Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotix. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 133. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to use my cat logo, my blurs, and everything to blur 50% of this episode. I know it's Navras Webtoon's new policy of 2023. I have to do it or else I will get copyrighted again and I'll have my channel taken off. So in order for me to post these reads publicly, I have to do it this way. So if you guys do want to read along, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone who wants to read this without any censorship, it is a private video and it will be no cat logo on there. And also you guys get early access to all my reads for the month of August. They're available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <sighs> okay. I love you, my queen. He looks so, he feels so guilty, even though from our point of view right now as a reader, he didn't do anything unless he did do something and they're about to expose it to us. But I feel bad for him. Uh, what? He loves me? Henry loves me. Do you not want to be with me because I'm unfaithful? Oh, no, no, it's not that. But you can't possibly love me. Huh? Maybe you're still under the influence of the potion. The potion wore off before daybreak. I'm telling the truth. I did assume that he liked me, at least enough to suggest we were, we get married for convenience. But love? Are you angry with me? No, I'm not angry, so you can relax. I feel more taken aback than angry. If I just leave, he might think I'm angry with him for succumbing so to the effects of the potion. It's fine. I mean it. The Remarried Empress, episode 133. That evening, Grand Duke Kaufman. You committed an offense not only against me, but against Henry as well. This could ex escalate into a diplomatic issue. The trade agreement between the consonants could have fallen through because of your bl blunder. I know. He does seem remorseful since he didn't I disagree. What should I say to prevent this from happening again? Should I say that I had no idea he was capable of doing something like this? Or perhaps I should say he's a terrible person. What if I criticize him for trying to hurt me in the same way that Hisobatia did, even though he was the one who was angry about how I was treated? God. I do feel bad about doing this when he looks unwell, but I need to draw the line somewhere. From now on, please don't speak to me unless you want to discuss official matters. That should have drawn some kind of reaction from him. Why is he just standing there? Why is he just standing there? How? Was it just a coincidence? How? Was it just a coincidence? <gasps> Please. I'm not a monster. Don't tell me. He can read other people's mind? It's my special ability, but it's also my weakness. Please keep my secret. I'll understand if you tell everyone if something like this happens again. I would accept my punishment, even if you revealed it now. He's willingly told me a big secret. To make up for his wrongdoing. All right. Then let us have three advantages clauses in the trade agreement between our nations. How advantages do you want them to be? It'll be within reason. The emote and emona might refuse to approve it if I ask for too much. Emote and emona, the ruling couple of Lut. Um, even your clever plot sounds like delightful music to my ears. I accept. Henry said the effects of the potion wore off before daybreak. Why is the Grand Duke still under its influence? Do you know the reason? 
It's because I love you. I mean, I think it's especially potent for me since I brewed it. Didn't you quickly overcome the effects of the potion that you that made you fall for Vrashta? <laughs> it's because you're the first person I saw. Is that how it works? I don't know how much of it is true. There's also something else I want to ask you. Huh? Uh, very well. I'll do it. Thank you. Well, then, I shall get going. You're loved. Very, very much. Is that the potion talking again? I meant by your husband. He loves you very much. The next day, the guests who came to the wedding began to leave. My parents will likely arrive right after Rasha and Sobeishu depart. I barely man managed to escape when Sobeishu had me detained as soon as we were divorced. I'm sure they're worried, even though they've been notified that I'm doing well. I need to set their minds at ease when they come. D Sebeshu. He has not slept a wink. Look at his eyes. Holy cow. Are you departing today? If you have nothing to say, then I'll go. Cut. Never hear. Everyone makes mistakes, don't they? Is he trying to say that divorcing me was a mistake? My mistake was being arrogant and planning everything by myself. I should have discussed it with you. I'm sorry. How can I return things to the way they were? Take good care of the Eastern Empire, like you've always done. Clap, clap, clap. I love you, Nabir. I love you. Mm. What do you guys think? Will that move her? Would that shift her heart? Because I think this whole time, like her childhood, growing up with him all the way till now, she had always, you know, have care for him, right? And maybe she does in a part of her, like, wish he loves her, right? But now she hears it, will that move her? Will that make her change lanes? <sighs> wow. Okay, that kind of like, I was just like, I felt that emotion. She, just, she must be shocked. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments of how you guys feel of this episode. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!